Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here tonight folks and tonight I want to make a little video on caliper pins okay how to replace them why you need to replace them if they look a little too rusted up and we're just gonna take you along with me as I replace some on this Lexus that I'm working on so stay tuned okay guys the other day I was doing a brake job and I actually made a video of it on a Lexus so that's what we're actually working on here today it's a, a Lexus uh, ES 330 front brake job and I did notice something while I was doing the brake job that I didn't have the parts for at the moment so I just went ahead and completed everything to finish the video just so it could be a how-to video but bring the camera right over here I want to show you what I discovered and I had to um, order some through the parts house and get them for today, okay? This caliper pin, which I lubed it up in the video. Let me get a paper towel right quick. This thing was really, really rusted up, okay? And the little rubber piece that was supposed to be on here was totally gone. And the rubber boot was totally missing on here. So we definitely don't wanna leave our, put our brakes back together like that, okay? So what I'm going to do in this video here today is I'm going to show you how to replace these caliper pins and these rubber um, um, grommets here that protect and keep water and dirt and stuff from uh, getting in there. And then we're going to talk about the importance of making sure your caliper pins are nice and lubricated and working properly so that you can get the, the maximum life out of your brake job. Okay, folks, we'll just start right over here. This is the one I've got laid off from the uh, left front side of the vehicle. Notice I pulled these pins out. And I want to show you that there is some differences in these pins. And this is um, pretty much par for the course for just about all mates and models. Usually the pins sometimes are different. And one of them may have a spot for a little rubber uh, o-ring that goes on here okay so i'm going to show you that here in a minute when we get the parts open let's go right over here to this one you see it's the same way we have this pin here and we have one that has a spot for an o-ring okay so now these boots here this one here actually come off there's a little metal part of it that we need to we're going to tap right here on the caliper bracket and we should be able to just tap these right on off relatively easy. If not, we'll take it over here to the vise. Maybe we need to bring it on over to the vise. I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take our hammer and a cold chisel, and we're just gonna grab the lip of that metal part there, tap on it, and bam, that's all we had to do. Now, while we got it there, I wanna take like, I'm gonna take like this screwdriver here. It's got a rounded off tip, and maybe a paper towel. Let's see if I can shove it in there and just kind of clean any grit that's in there maybe i need to find me a different piece of cloth or an old rag or something hang on let me grab something else we're going to just try to clean that out right quick all right now we found an old t-shirt this actually works a little bit better so we're just going to try to clean up in here and shove that down in there kind of clean this up the best we can we'll move on over to a clean spot on the shirt and we're going to keep working with this guys and cleaning out these boards uh, the best that we can. Okay, guys, here's the um, new parts for the little rubber uh, dust boots here, okay? Now, notice that they have a metal piece here, okay? So, they drive into place on our caliper bracket. So, let's go right over here, and we're going to drive one of the new ones in, okay? Now, what I did is I actually found a socket that would catch this lip here, but yet still allow my rubber um to go in there to where i don't pinch my rubber uh boot as i'm trying to drive this in okay you see what i mean so now we're supported by the metal and the boot is inside the socket and i found that a 20 millimeter socket seemed to be the size that worked the best so now i'm going to take this hold this up here got my little small ball peen hammer here and i these into place if I can. Alrighty, it looks like we are, looks like we have uh, driven it right up there nice and flush. 
So that one's ready to go. And let me go ahead and grab another one. And as you can see, the way I'm putting this in here, I'm just kind of shoving it in the side of the socket there, okay? So we don't end up pinching the rubber piece. And we'll go ahead and drive this one in as well. Okay guys, here is a caliper pins for one side. And we have brand new caliper bolts here as well. We'll go and just lay these here. We'll put use them when we go back together. Now notice that we have, these pins are different, okay? Just like I showed you. Now this one needs this little rubber grommet, okay? And this is what come with the pack of dust boots is this new little piece, okay? On the other ones, they were war, slam, gone. They weren't even in existence anymore. So this pin here is going to go right here. And this pin here is going to go right here. I'm always careful to make sure I don't mix them up or what have you, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and use some 3M uh, silicone paste, okay? I like this to be, the, this is what I prefer to put on any type of caliper pin. And here's the reason. Any type of petroleum-based product will deteriorate the any of these rubber parts okay that could have been what happened to this car before so we're going to take 3m silicone grease okay and we're going to gen generously lubricate this part okay and then we're going to go ahead and shove it in here and we're going to twist it a little as we're going so it lubricates that bore as well going down okay and then we're gonna push it until our little boot snaps in place. And we're gonna do this side here the same way. We still have enough on our finger here where we can lubricate this just as well. Maybe we need just a little bit more, okay? And then we're gonna shove it in there as well with our twisting motion to even the lubricant out and push it on down until it snaps into place. Okay, hey, we're gonna move on to the next caliper bracket now. It looks like we have one on this side we gotta drive out as well. So there we go. So folks, we're almost getting finished up here. Put our new little rubber piece on here. And then we will reach in here and get us some more of this good 3M silicone lube. All right. Folks, we're almost done here. We'll get ready to put our caliper brackets back on our vehicle. Okay, friends, that pretty much wraps up the video. You can see how to reinstall uh, some new pins and some new rubber uh, dust covers if need be. And let me just focus tell you how important this is um the majority of brake pads on cars that wear out uh, prematurely is one of two reasons okay either you got a heavy-footed breaker or someone who rides the brake pedal all the time you know really heats up the pads and everything or you have some kind of slide pin problem okay or a caliper problem okay but usually, before you have a caliper problem, you will have a slide pin, pin problem. These things here will get dry. They will seize up inside these bores here. And your brake pads will just wear out because it cannot move and function properly. And it will just ride right up against that rotor. 
and you'll end up wearing out a set of brake pads in half the time that you normally should get out of your life of your pads. So folks, I wanna thank you for stopping by, checking out this video today. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care.